Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, August 30th. I'm Sarah Edmiston, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Starting with clubs, there is a beta club meeting on Friday in Miss Mason's room 3201 during Power Hour A. There will be a meeting for all existing NJHS members and Mr. Rahab's portable tomorrow to vote for officers. Don't forget to bring in newly or gently used books to the Rolling Readers Book Drive sponsored by the National English Honor Society. Donation boxes for elementary level books will be located in the front office and in room 2201 during, through next Friday. If you went on vacation out of the state or country this summer and want to be featured in the yearbook, please send pictures to westshoreyearbook at gmail.com by this Friday. Now for an introduction to Officer Butler, followed by an exclusive segment regarding The Crow. One of the many new changes West Shore has made this year is the addition of a new school resource officer, Valerie Butler. Everybody's been very welcoming. I'm still trying to learn everybody's names. I vow to try to do that before the end of the first year and it's proving pretty difficult. I'm studying the yearbook. Everybody's been very nice. It's refreshing from what I came from doing prior to this. Officer Butler transferred to West Shore after seven years of service in the Melbourne Police Department's Major Crimes Unit. I was dealing with a lot of subject matter that was often depressing and can bring you down a little bit. And so after about seven years, I just decided that it was time for a change and this position came open and I thought, what a great way to go from negative to positive than dealing with a bunch of bright children. Even though Officer Butler has only been at West Shore for a short time, students are already getting to know her. Yeah, she seems really nice. I talked to her on like the fourth day of school when I like left my lunch in my car and then she had to like walk me out to get it and so we just chatted. This has been Austin Hayes, Jacob Kent, and Matt SG reporting for WCTZ News. Perhaps the most unusual story of this year has been a crow which has been landing on several students. Yes, you heard it right. Well, he's been spotted in all four corners of the school. Uh, I've seen him in at least three or four different places. He's very active. I'm quite confident he was somebody's pet because we were able to hold out our arm and get him to jump onto our arm and walk around. So that's indicative of obviously he's been trained to do that by somebody. So I'm pretty certain he's somebody's pet and probably used to being fed. He flies a lot, he swoops down and buzzes people's heads. After cross country I was walking from the parking lot to the locker room and it flew at my head. And I ran away back to the locker room. I did make a phone call to a trapper that has yet to return my call. I don't even know if he would come out for a crow. I haven't seen him in the last couple days, so he seems to maybe have either moved on or calmed down a little bit. Now for the weekly sports update by Ben Lack and Abe Murphy, followed by the alma mater. Good morning, West Orients. I'm Abe Murphy. And I'm Ben Lack. Welcome to your weekly sports update. There will be a volleyball game Thursday night at 7.15 against O'Galley. There will also be a swim meet on Thursday at FIAV against Bayside starting at 4 o'clock. Congratulations to senior Shelby McKeever for being the Athlete of the Week for Hometown News. In the first bowling match of the season, West Shore lost to Covenant 5-2 in both the boys and girls games. In the second bowling match of the season, West Shore ladies defeated the Melbourne team by taking all seven points. The boys lost 7-0 but are striving to improve. Next week, West Shore faces Palm Bay on Monday at Harbor Lanes and Bayside on Wednesday at Shore Lanes. All matches begin at 4 p.m. This has been Ben Lack. And this has been Abram Murphy. We'll see you next week.
Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Sarah Edmondson. Have a great day, Wildcats.